Hello, good day everyone. Um, how are you? I hope that you all are fine and taking great care of your self. I am Micah Mary. Uh, welcome you all in the seventh session of media and business communication. As we have covered up till now six sessions, six like six lectures almost. So now we are on the seventh session. But before moving towards that, we are going to recall a little bit about our seventh session. So let's just quickly do that. So I'm going to share the screen with you uh, of the six session. Okay. So this was our sixth session. Yeah. So we have gone through the concept of media and communication, right? And what was media? Media, we all know about media. And media actually uh, deliver the information to a large number of audience within a blink of time, within a short time period. But it uh, work as both career and delivery delivery system as career and carriers and delivery system and it fulfills specialized need of the consumer. And then media work as vehicle as it is a carrier, <clears throat> it's an individual carrier, right? Then mass media, classes of media, there are different classes of, there are two classes of media. One is mass media. Mass media is actually the, uh, in which, uh, which, in which comes newspaper, magazines, radio, television. Then there are two types of, uh, Media, uh, the, 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 the traditional media was the non traditional and non traditional media in which uh, uh, the message is delivered in an innovative way. Um, and traditional media that uh, has been uh, used for reaching uh, uh, mass audiences, and these are the examples of traditional and non traditional media. Then there was a cyber media, cyber media is a, is a very authentic and appropriate way uh, for the people who are who are, do not have such investment to invest for their business promotion, for their company's promotion. So they can use internet, they can use social media app they can they have the platform where they can share their they, where they can share their products where they can enhance where they can promote their business um without uh paying much uh, or with no cost right so yeah the, as everything has some pros and cons like that television also have some pros and cons so there are some advantages and disadvantages television reach out my number of audience a large, large number of audience that it is audio and visualize as well. Uh, we can get uh, information and it avails us from the current situation. Then it has some uh, disadvantages as well. For example, uh, so many, uh, we cannot filter out the uh, information. We cannot filter out the chat. We cannot filter out so many things. And uh, really the, most of the content, there, 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 there is a content that is not appropriate for the children to watch. And we cannot definitely uh, uh, stop them definitely. If, if I if I don't have if I if I'm not at home and my my kid is watching television, definitely he, he or she can watch any kind of content on it. Definitely okay. So there are definitely advantages and there are some disadvantages as well. They you know radio that has it has also had some pros and cons. The, the most the, the one disadvantage is that we do we all face in radio it is not visualized. We can only listen radio and. Uh, the most of the advantages that it, it is a target ability, frequency, portability, personal, economical for local market, short lead times, community, community involvement, strong promotional vehicle, and low cost of entry, right? Then uh, cons are basically no visual background medium and expensive reach filter. Uh, the newspaper, newspaper, the, I can say the advantage of newspaper is that we enhance our reading skills, we get away from current situation, and we get to know about some new vocabulary. And then the disadvantage is basically that um, non targeted readership and high clutter, inferior reproduction, short issues live. So, this, these are the cons, these are the disadvantages. Then we have discussed about the media campaign in which these eight points have been came that you need to identify, you need to define the purpose of the campaign, then you need down to then you need to nail down your strategy, then make sure you should consider all the options available, uh, then gather the information, analyze the research. Uh, the most important thing you need to negotiate with the suppliers. So you can gain more profits and you need to execute whatever you have planned, whatever your objectives are, you have planned according to it, you need to execute. Then you need to maintain the campaign. And after then, post by analysis, you need to check definitely or every, every we need to check the feedback, we need to make the feedback, we need to see the post by analysis. 
then why media objects are very important definitely it's very important to determine how to check the best way to convey the message to the target audience and the media plan sets out the systematic process that synchronize all contributing elements in order to achieve their specific goals so there was some media strategy these five media strategies we have discussed then media concentration we need to work on the concentration strategy then we need to work on execution or dispersion strategy how media, how we need, uh, there should be a proper earned media strategy, the paid media strategy and own media strategy. These are the five types of strategy which I have explained you in our previous session. And then these are the elements that we need to focus on uh, as media and media strategies, right? Broad selection of media, we need to, there should be a broad media selection. We need to use, use uh, uh, specific, uh, specific, we need to use specific, uh, we, we should have specific use of media uh, then we, we should know that uh, for rational, uh, uh, how to, uh, we should know the use of including qualitative and quantitative analysis, description of scheduling, including when and where and what levels we need to uh, strategy our media campaign. Then media planning, definitely media planning is also very important for the marketing to achieve the marketing objectives. Then there is uh, definitely uh, on television, on social media, there are some ratings and TRPs. People work to get the highest rating and to get the more TRPs because they earn through it, right? So as I have shown you a video in the last session that uh, the, uh, people, the viewership of match is basically that one individual view is for one lakh. So you can see how much they actually earn from TRPs and uh, ratings, okay? So this was all about uh, our previous session. Now let's watch, let's, I'm going to share you our today's session, that is lecture number seven, and let's see what we have today. Okay, um, so today is our lecture number seven, and the topic of our today's session is the persistence of violence. We are going to know about the persistence of violence. So what is persistent? What do you think after hearing the word persistent, or do you know something about persistent? What is persistent? Do you know? Okay, let me tell you what is persistent. It's, it's, the basic, it's, it's basically the quality that allows someone to continue doing something or trying to do something even though it is difficult or opposed by other, right? It is basically something that you are, uh, for, uh, for example, if you see that something is bad is happening in front of you, but you are allowing someone to continue doing the same thing. If, uh, if a kid is hitting a cat, right? If a kid is hitting a cat or he the, the kid is throwing the stones on the car and you are just watching and you are just laughing oh it's very funny it's not funny you're not stopping that person uh, you're not stopping the kid and but you are actually allowing uh, uh, that kid to continue doing the uh, same thing right or to, to do the some uh, to do something right the persistence of violence so violence is basically you are actually uh, watching the uh, someone else you are actually watching or actually seeing that someone is doing violence and you are Allowing that person, why, how? Because you are not stepping forward, you are not stopping that person, you are just allowing the person to continue the same action. So this is the persistence of violence. Let's see what contents we will cover in our today's session. Uh, basic of violence, uh, that uh, uh, we are going to know about the what is violence, what is media violence, and impact of media violence, and how it actually affects uh, the effects of media violence and then the form of media violence. Uh, Okay, so what is violence? Violence is a negative action that harms other. Uh, it is not only physical, but also there, there is uh, there, it is not only in a physical way, but also verbal and mental violence is there. Um, violence key, uh, violence have a great effect on in someone's life for a long time, right? As uh, for example, if if, if my uh, if um. Someone slaps me in, in, in the university, like definitely it's a boy and someone slaps me in the university and uh, definitely it will have uh, it will have a bad uh, effect on me, right? I, for a long time, I will not, that image, that picture will not go to, uh, it will not go away from my mind. It will stay in my mind for a long time. So it's it's a physical one, but verbal is someone says abusive words to me, someone says abusive words to you and it actually harm your personality, it damage your personality, damage your you know, sir, that definitely it will stay longer uh, in your life, right? The mental violence, 
that someone is torturing you very badly harassment right so uh, these kind of violence there are different types of violence right violence is basically it's a negative action it's a total negative action that is that is that has been done to harm someone right then what is media violence media violence uh, the deception or discrimination of of violent or, or other explicit material or images, definitely there, there are some kind of uh, content or images that has been shown on the media, the TV or social media that is actually uh, affecting the lives of uh, the audiences um, uh, in a manner that is considered harmful to viewers through media sources such as television, music. Either these are the examples through which uh, viewer uh, is what such kind of content and images that is actually harmful for them. It's not basically harmful for as in a physical way, but in a mental way as well, right? Uh, physical way, I can explain you in further that how it's actually harmful in a physical way. As for a viewer, I will explain you in further, but definitely it is harmful in a physical, uh, mental and verbal way in all the ways, right? So forms of media violence, these are the four through which we get uh, uh, we we guess if watch the content and we read out the content we did we, we actually play <clears throat> and then we uh we adapt that thing we adopt that thing and uh, act accordingly from film from television from comic book music social media and video games so example of media violence through video game video game has encouraged violence acts such as murder assassination rape womanizing and as well. for example counter strike counter strike is basically you, uh, you you just use uh, the, there's a, you select the gun you select the type of a gun you select the type of a person but which which uh, which which, uh, which uh, personality you have to you have to uh, be in the game right the video game you uh, you have your choices then you start playing the game and then in real life, you really want to have such kind of guns, for example, as a toy gun, right? And in toy gun, there, there, there are some balls kind of things, and then you start hitting others, right? You act accordingly, and it actually creating a physical one. It, it has, it is creating some mental. It is having a mental. There's, there, 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 there are changes coming as students and our kids and our adults that they act accordingly. They want to act same as 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 it has happening in the video game so uh yes uh, make, uh then there is another that there are such movies that actually promote sex sexual things romantic things uh rapes uh they actually uh which try such projects that is actually uh creating uh the desire in, in, in the individual uh Self, right. For example, if I if someone sees some in romantic or in a romantic scene, the that person start imagining such things in their mind, and they uh, imagine yeah, uh, the the person, the other girl, the if the if a woman is watching, if a girl is watching such movies, she start imagining a boy doing the same thing uh, with her. Like it's 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 actually affecting the mind. We it's it sounds funny, but it's not funny. It's actually happening, and it's actually affecting the life a lot. Because if such thing does not doesn't happen, if, if some if a boy does not approach in the same way as that hero approach the actresses, the heroine and the movie, if someone does not approach in the same way, in the same manner to us, we start having such we start there, there's a, we start thinking that there's something lack in there, there's a lacking of such things in our life. We do not look like such we do not look like attractive, we are not beautiful, we are not we does not deserve such things. We we start uh, hitting ourselves. We are we become aggressive, right? It, it happens. There are so many examples in our in the world that is that actually behaves in the same manner. And it is it's it actually creates a negative effect in someone's life. So Yes, the impact of media violence, extensive research or evidence indicate that media violence can contribute to aggressive behavior, decentralization to violence, nightmares and fear of being harmed. Yes, aggressive, as I've told you, if something, if some, if, if I've watched a movie and uh, I've seen, uh, if I'm a very romantic kind of a person, if I'm very creative, I really want someone to approach me in the same manner as uh, I want the same kind of proposal, and if something that if some if that thing is not happen in my life, I will get more aggressive. Like I think I'm not lucky enough. I'm not beautiful. I don't know why people because we start imagining such things. We start we just 
uh, we just desire for such thing and if such thing does not happen in our life we will get very aggressive and then nightmares definitely if, we, if our kids if we are watching a family if we, if we are watching mo a horror movie with our family with the kids uh, definitely at that moment kids will have a lot of fun they will get care as well but in night they will not only kids but also most of the, most of us we uh, there are nightmares right we 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 saw, saw such kind of uh, dreams that in which uh, uh, someone is uh, following you with the knife, someone, the ghost is following you, the ghost is after you, and then uh, you actually get uh, you get scared at night, right? You start uh, screaming at the kids, are sad, the kids are, and it, it is actually affecting the mental health. So nightmare, the fear of being harmed, there's definitely we, uh, when we are uh, at night and the, uh, and then the lights have been put off, switched off, and we are walking from staircase to the room, yeah, so we get actually, we get, uh, we, we are actually getting, at that moment, we get, there's a fear in our heart that we that, that the ghost will come from behind and it will push me. We actually have that imagination. We start thinking of, of the same scenario that we have seen in the movie. Not only that, but if we, uh, I'm, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm telling you my experience, my example, that uh, there is a movie, Chapak, Bollywood movie, and in that uh, the girl has uh, suffered from an acid attack, and it, that actually create a negative impact in my life. That I actually uh, have a fear that I don't know if I if I slap someone, if someone harassed me, and if I slap someone, that might that person will take revenge from me. That it, it actually happened. It, it's basically something else. That in that movie, there there's a girl that the 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 pickup for the one is actually playing the character, the role of that girl, and it's a real story of a girl that uh, she refuses a proposal and. Uh, she has suffered from that acid attack from that particular man, and actually it created a fear in in the hearts of a woman that if we if, 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 if refuse someone, that my that person might attack me in a different way. It actually it actually create a sense. Of, then we when we walk on a gag on a when we when we walk on the road we walk on the uh, path uh, pathway we actually get scared. We uh, we actually see each and every man in a negative. Uh, in, we uh, it creates such a negative impact that when we are walking, we actually see each and every man uh, that uh, this man will come uh, and this man will harm me. This man definitely we do not have such positive effect in our lives because after watching such kind of a content, we get very negative towards everything, right? So not only that, but also uh, when we saw such kind of news and kind of uh, such kind of news on the TV on television, we get some uh, we get fear of being harmed, right? So yes, and uh, media has a uh, media it's it's an impact of media violence. It actually it actually uh, disturbing our lives, so not only our lives but it's it's damaging our inner self, right? So the solution of media self violence that how you can uh have good solution you should be alert to show your children first of all it's very necessary that you should be very alert at what kind of content your children is watching if you are an aunt if you are an aunt if you are an uncle if you are um, if you are a mother your father uh, you if you, uh, you need to see that what kind of content the children is actually watching avoid using television video video games as babysitter Okay, if you are a babysitter, stop uh, using uh, such, uh, avoid using television videos and video games. Limit the use of television to no more than or two repeatedly hours per day. Uh, per day, you need to see that um, how much um, uh, the use of television you should be, or you should limit that thing, right? Uh, keep television VCS out of your children's bedroom. Why have you solution for media, uh, to the media solution for the children? Because definitely, when they grow up, they accordingly. If I have seen an uh, an ad in which the girl is actually acting like a woman, uh, uh, acting same like a woman uh, of the serial, and it is totally that like, it's damaging the personality of that girl. Right? It, that it is actually behaving like an adult, and it's very bad because uh, babies, uh, children have their own innocence, but when they start watching such beautiful girls, putting on makeup, doing the 
different things, they start acting accordingly. And I can, I'm, it's very hard, it's very bad, it's very, uh, it's very hard to say that now, uh, it's very, and very disappointing of, uh, from this that now our, actually, now our small girls, our boys actually imagining, uh, imagine the romantic scenes, uh, uh, the romantic scenes right that some romantic the romantic scenes and it's very it's very bad and it's very like what in what way they are going right so censorship there should be a censorship then um wait uh there's a mishap sorry for this um i'm just so sorry okay sorry Okay, then stricter rating guideline, then add new or existing filtering technologies to computer internet websites so that you cannot assess the sensitive, sensitive and harmful material. So these are the solutions. So yes, I hope you have, uh, okay, we don't have much in this, but definitely this is very effective. This is very important to know about media violence, that it is actually affecting the minds of the youth, of the children and uh, uh, and and actually gives the ideas to the uh, not only to the people that are you can actually act in the same way. If if someone if there there are some people who are very if there are some boys who are very bad boys and they saw such kind of movie in which there is a harassment scene, the next day they act according to it. They will harass any the, the girl in the same manner, and it is very bad. So not only the boys but also the girls are doing the same thing, and it's very bad. It's actually uh, creating a negative impact in our life. It, it's damaging the life. So it's may, not. I'm not saying that every content is very. It's it's very harmful. But there are few content that's very harmful, and we should be very careful for it. If my if if, if a kid is watching, if a kid is listening, my <coughs> not kid, but also also the adult. Sorry if I seeing any. Uh, if they are listening to any item number that is that does not have good lyrics. And they are actually repeating the same lyrics again and again. And uh, um, they will actually, once they will get the meaning of it, when they once they got the they got to know the meaning of it, they will feel shy. But afterwards, they will feel it's okay. It's fine. It's very fine because such content is coming on the media. It's coming on the TV, and my brother and my sister is watching it. It's very fine. If they are listening to it, it's very fine. So they will not feel uh, bad. They will not. They will feel okay. So we should be very careful. Okay, so now I'm going to share one more video to you of uh, media violence. We want you to watch that. Okay, let's see. It's a short video. I want you to watch it properly.
<clears throat> okay so i hope you have understood about media violence and how it's actually affecting that definitely our behavior is getting very aggressive due to media violence when video game for example pubg uh, i have seen most of this you know, most of the people most of the most of the adults even that when they are playing pubg they are very 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 aggressive they start using abusive language as well they start using bad words right they use bad words by playing pubg they become very aggressive when they can't hit someone they become very aggressive the the whole facial expression has been changed and this is affecting the mental health as well so my dear students, so my dear students definitely it is the media is actually creating such content not all the one percent content is creating uh, the violence right that is called media violence right uh, then uh, as in the video you have seen that you have uh, that, that, that the person have told you that uh, uh, if something does uh, decent the, the, the person have explained about desensitization that is desensitization is basically when you watch such kind of movie that okay uh, the robbery is not only robbery but if you watch something for example okay the the, the woman has been raped the first thing has been done okay the very next day not one next day but you feel very bad you feel very sad you feel very angry on that the, the on the, the rapist you will feel very angry on the rapist that you will feel you will you just you you feel very bad right but uh, after two days you again heard the same news after uh, then after one day you are you will again hear the same news you will stop feel you will find oh it's it's, it's happening in the uh uh, it's it's actually happening all over, so it will decrease the emotions in you, right? But but one thing that I can say that that we uh, although it decrease the emotion of feeling bad, but it increase the emotion, it increase the fear in in ourselves. If I'm going outside, I will feel very very scared, right? I will there's a fear there should be there will be a fear in my heart, right? That I need to be very careful. I need to be walk very careful. I need to set my butt. I need to cover myself properly. It will care of. It will. Uh, it will. Uh, there will be a fear in my heart, right? Uh, not only in my in the heart of the girls, but in the heart of the man that is in our house. They will like don't go alone. Don't go out like this because uh, the the society is not good. The people are not good. Bad things is happening. The rapists are there. The rapists, the rapists are there. They are, they are, they are very bad, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. They will start, and it's, it's all those scenarios is just creating the negative, negative impact or effect in our life. And if someone is watching, uh, the kid is watching, uh, the the for example, they are watching wrestling in the movies, right? That's why they are watching wrestling, wrestling, right? They are seeing or they are watching the fighting scene in the movie. They will act accordingly. The brothers will start fighting with us, like they will start fighting and fighting and fighting, right? And and they might harm each other, right? So whatever they're watching, whatever we are watching in the media, we actually act according to it. Uh, we start imagining such things. The kids are imagining, oh, I'm John Cena, I'm this, I'm that, and they start fighting with each other. And they will, it will create a physical um, violence, right? They will start fighting, they might harm each other. Not only that, there are so many examples that we can actually see that act as a media violence, right? So this was all about, we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful if something is bad is happening uh, in, the, in the world and in the, in the society. We should be careful, but uh, definitely it has happened. It is changing a psychology, it changes in a psychological way, right? right? 
so yeah we need to very we need to be very careful when we are with the kids when we are uh, when, but we, what content we are watching we we need to be very positive we need to watch positive content <clears throat> we need to watch such things that will create a positive effect in our mind we need to uh, delete such content from our lives like we stop uh, watching such a uh, uh, sexual things that would that create a desire in yourself stop it because if you if it's you need to stop it's not basically that someone will come and oh don't stop don't watch us thing it's not because someone will tell some might will come and can counsel you but it can only happen when you stop yourself and we stop ourselves right it's us we need to uh, be very careful what we are watching what we are watching in front of our children what we are doing right so this was all about our today's session. I hope you have understood it. But still, if you don't understand anything, we have provided you a platform. You can ask questions from there. So now I will see you the next session. So then take care. Bye-bye.